Hello again. A couple of months ago, uh, we interviewed a great, great character actor, and sometimes they don't want to be called that, it's kind of a confining category, a uh, great, great actor by the name of Ed Lauder. Now you have seen this man on, on hundreds of movies and television shows, it seems like. Kidding. He's everywhere. Uh, he did pass away, but many of you remember him in one of the biggest roles he did in 1974 with Burt Reynolds uh, in the movie The Longest Yard. Now, he has done, and I'm not kidding here, every single year since 1971 to this year, a movie or multiple movies and then TV series uh, every year since 71. I mean, that's a lot of years, a lot of work. In fact, even after he passed away, there are still three movies pending that will be released shortly. I had an interview with him at the uh, Oscar night at the Beverly Hills Hotel, and I predicted that his career would change and go into more uh, a different level, and where he would be playing European-style actors. And of course, after that, he went into an Irish bro, he went into a, a great English accent, and we had some funny, funny laughs, and he did some great impressions. So take a look at this quick interview I had with the great actor, Ed Lauder. Very sorry to see him go. <laughs> How you guys doing? Longest yard. Longest That's yard. Still here. Yeah. What's and, new? And last year we got the artist. We did the artist. That was, that was the chauffeur to Berenice Bajot and her partner and everything. And then uh, I did the Clint Eastwood movie Trouble with the Curve. And oh, uh, you know, I've been I've been lucky. I've been doing some stuff. You know? You've appeared in a couple of English uh, books of famous great actors and also in the character actors. Oh, really? Uh, David Quinn's book. Oh. In the eighties and. Uh, David Quinn, huh? Yeah, David Quinn. I love the English. Uh, you're listed as a uh, excellent, durable American character actor. You were in that book in the early 80s. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you don't realize. You know, I'm going to give you a quick... Uh, uh, you're filming this too? Yep. I, I asked Bob Hoskins, a wonderful English actor, and I said, and we had to do this movie together, and I had to play a cockney in the scene. And I did a cockney actor. I said, Bob, how do you do a cockney actor? And he's a piece of cockney. And he said, the greatest. He said, elongate you. Drop the tea. Don't forget the ink. You got to nail right how you there. Do it. No, but I mean, you could do it too, but then yeah. Bob would be a great teacher. He'd be a great director. Too. Now, what, what interested me, because growing up watching, well, I think you watched Sheriff Lobo, uh, you're a very American guy. You got maybe a southern background, we don't know, but you, yeah. you do seem like a chameleon. You are able to play a Brit, and you oh, are yeah. do American yeah. and European, yeah. which yeah. is surprising. Yeah. Has your, did you ever plan on playing European types when you started off? I, I'd love to play, yeah. No, I didn't. I, I would really like to because it's such a wonderful... I have a pretty good ear for things. You know, I do like uh, Montgomery Cliff and... Uh, <laughs> Mark, no, How many, you ready for Montgomery Cliff? No, not in the car, Rick, is it? No, you oh, remember, remember the last scene in Red River and John Wayne says, Well, you better marry that girl, Flat. Cliff says, Stop telling people what to do. I got a stuck throat. I got a shot glass stuck in my throat. Okay, how long have you been married? Hey, this guy, you're very knowledgeable.
How are you guys doing? Longest yard. Longest That's yard. Still here. Yeah. What and, do? and last year we got the artist. We did the artist. That was, that was the chauffeur to Berenice Bajot and her partner and everything. And then uh, I did the Clint Eastwood movie Trouble with the Curve. And oh, you know, I've been I've been lucky. I've been doing some stuff. You know? You've appeared in a couple of English uh, books of famous great actors and also in the character actors. Book. Really? Uh, David Quinn's book. Oh. Written in the eighties and uh, David Quinn. Huh? Yeah, David Quinn. I love the English. Uh, you're listed as a. Uh, Excellent, durable American character actor. You were in that book in the early 80s. Wow. Yeah, if you don't realize. You know, I'm going to give you a quick. Uh, uh, you're filming this too? Yep. I, I asked Bob Hoskins, who was a wonderful English actor, and I said, and we had to do this movie together, and I had to play a cockney in the scene. And I said to Cockney, I said, Bob, how do you do a cockney actor? And he's a piece of cockney. And he says, the greatest. He says, elongate the O's, drop the T, and forget the H. You got to nail That's right how you there. do it. No, but I mean, you could do it too, but then yeah. Bob would be a great teacher. He'd be a great director. Too. Now, what, what interested me, because growing up watching, I think you watched Sheriff Lobo, uh, you're a very American guy. You got maybe a southern background, we don't know, but you, yeah. you do seem like a chameleon. You are able to play a Brit, and you oh, are yeah. to do yeah. American yeah. and European, yeah. which yeah. is surprising. Yeah. Has your, did you ever plan on playing European types when you started off? I, I'd love to play, yeah. No, I didn't. I, I would really like to because it's such a wonderful... I have a pretty good ear for things. You know, I do like uh, Montgomery Cliff and... Uh, uh, <laughs> how many, you ready for Montgomery Cliff? You are not in the car, Rick, is it? No, you haven't. Okay. Remember the last scene in Red River and John Wayne says, Well, you better marry that girl. But Cliff says, Stop telling people what to do. I got a sore oh, throat. I got a shot glass stuck in my throat. Thanks, thanks, sir. Okay. How long have you been married? Hey, this guy, you're very knowledgeable.